very good morning student the next topic of third lesson magnetism basic properties of magnets so very very important two mark topics basic properties of magnets some basic terminologies and properties used in describing bar magnet magnetic dipole moment first topic magnetic dipole moment very very important two mark question what is mean by magnetic dipole moment the magnetic dipole moment is defined as the product of its pole strength and magnetic length it is a vector quantity denoted by p vector suffix m pm vector is equal to qm d vector once again repeat the definition of magnetic dipole moment magnetic dipole moment is defined as the product of its pole strength product of its pole strength here qm is the pole strength then and magnetic length length here 2l or d d is the length it is a vector quantity denoted by pm vector pm vector is equal to q into d vector so consider a bar magnet here the, this is a bar magnet let qm be the pole strength it is also called as a magnetic charge of the magnetic pole and let l be the l this l be the distance between the geometrical center geometrical center of bar magnet o and one end of the pole o and one end here yeah, this is the one end this is another one end so the formula the definition of magnetic dipole moment product of its pole strength and magnetic length it is a vector quantity then next where d is a vector drawn from south pole to north pole and its magnitude modulus of d vector is equal to 2l here l plus l 2l the magnitude of magnetic dipole moment pm is equal to 2 qm l the si unit of magnetic moment very very important objective type a m square that means ampere meter square note that the direction of magnetic moment is from south pole to north pole the next two more topic is magnetic field what is meant by magnetic field force experienced by the bar magnet of unit pole strength once again repeat force experienced by the bar magnet of unit pole strength so this is the formula for the magnetic field b is equal to b vector is equal to 1 by qm f vector its unit is very very important objective type n that means newton per ampere per meter here the explanation is magnetic field is the region or space around every magnet within which its influence can be felt by keeping another magnet in that region that means magnetic field field means magnetic lines of force lines strength or force Magnetic lines of force is the region and the region other than the area kula, or space and the space around the world. magnet which is the magnet and the space around lines in the occupied panel occupied panel mode any other magnet enter to the lines of force region and the region will enter China it will be attracted by the magnetic material so magnetic field is the region or space around every magnet within which its influence can be felt by keeping another magnet in that region once again repeat the magnetic field definition force experienced by the bar magnet of a unit pole strength the magnetic field b vector at a point is defined as the force experienced by the bar magnet of unit pole strength unit the formula for the magnetic field b vector is equal to 1 by qm into f vector this formula is very very useful for your problem question its unit is newton per ampere per meter the next topic is types of magnets how many types of magnets there are two types of magnets magnets are classified into natural magnets and artificial magnets for example iron cobalt nickel etc are natural magnets strength of natural magnets are very weak this is very very important point strength of natural magnets are very weak and the shapes of the magnet are 
irregular irregular shape la nam earth la irukku then artificial magnets are made by us in order to have desired shape and strength if the magnet is in the form of rectangular shape or cylindrical shape then it is known as bar magnet the next topic properties of magnet this is a very very important three mark topic properties of magnet first point is a freely suspended bar magnet will always point along the north and south direction so suspended means thonga vidrad bar magnet suspended hang panni vittana namma thonga vittana always adu endha direction kaatum always point out the north and the south direction that is the first point a freely suspended bar magnet will always point along the north and the south direction then second point of properties of magnet a magnet attract another magnet or magnetic substances towards itself or magnet another one magnet attract pannum illa edhavum substance enna pannum attract pannum attractive force is maximum near the end of the bar magnet so bar magnet node end la da attractional force heavy a irukum middle la attractional force very low at the end the attractional force will be high when a bar magnet is dipped into iron filling iron filling la dip pannu they cling to the end of the magnet nee dip panninga na end of the magnet la da attractional force heavy a irukena end of the magnet la da attract aagum next this is the diagram third point properties is when a magnet is broken into pieces each pieces behaves like a magnet with poles at its end one magnet ninga break panninga na odichitinga na and odicha north and south pole adha thani thani magnet ah maanum it should not divided north and south or separated should not separate or does not separate north pole and south pole so the fourth one for point is two poles of a magnet have pole strength equal to their another so two pole strength are equal then the last point is the length of the bar magnet is called geometrical length and the length between two magnetic poles in a bar magnet is called magnetic length so this is a very very important the length of the bar magnet is called geometrical length and the length between the two magnetic poles in a bar magnet is called magnetic length so two end ku in between la irukka and the length da solla magnetic length magnetic length is always slightly smaller than geometrical length geometric length vida konjam higher so smaller ah irukum sorry so smaller ah irukum magnetic length is always slightly smaller than geometrical length the ratio of magnetic length and gal- geometrical length is 5 by 6 very very important po- a point note it down the ratio of magnetic length and geometrical length is 5 by 6 here yeah. magnetic length divided by geometric length 5 by 6 is nothing but 0.833 thank you